Hi, welcome, welcome back, back to, to Halloween, Halloween House. House. Today we're going to be talking about a serial killer. He's called the Gary Strangler. But first we're going to acknowledge his seven known victims. Africa Hardy. Anith Jones. Tierra Beatty. Tracy Martin. Christine Williams. Tanya Gatlin. And Sonia Billingsley. All ranged in age from 19 to 52. The serial killer's name was Darren Van. And he was born in 1971. He did serve some time in the Marines. And uh, we don't know how a lot about his life, but we do know that most of it centered around Gary, Indiana. And he targeted sex workers that he would find on the internet. All of them were strangled with his hands, a cord, or jewelry. And he was imprisoned in Austin, Texas um, for rape and attempted strangulation. So that victim thankfully got away with her life, and he was convicted and served five years in jail in Austin from 2008 to 2013. Um, when he was eventually paroled in 2013, the authorities in Austin deemed him a low-risk offender, and at that point he returned to Gary, Indiana. Not very low-risk it not low came risk. to be. So there was an expert who was analyzing crime data in Gary, Indiana. His name was Thomas Hargrove. And he strongly suggested that there was a serial killer at work in Gary, Indiana. Um, he linked together 15 women. And the coroner at the time did agree with Thomas Hargrove. And he added three more women to this. Unfortunately, police didn't find that data very interesting. And they just shelved it. Yeah. But um, their, their data seemed to go from 2000 to 2008. And then there was a low. Go and, five years. Yeah, five years. So from 2008 to 2013, they were not having strangulation killings that they were finding. And that is the exact same time that Darren was in jail. So then the murders did pick up again in 2013. And he was finally arrested for the murder of Africa Hardy, whom he strangled at a Motel 6 in Hammond, Indiana. Yes. She was there with him, and her friends just felt something just didn't seem right. So they started texting her, and the responses they were getting just seemed very off. They weren't the way she would respond to texts. So they proceeded to the hotel and unfortunately found her body in the bathtub and alerted the police to the situation. They were able to track Darren Van down um, through surveillance videos and other clues. Yes. And um, he was arrested for her murder. And under interrogation, he did um, confess to six additional murders. Yes. And then he took the police on a little trip around Gary and pointed out abandoned homes and said, hey, go look in that bedroom, look in the closet, or go look in the basement. And they were able to locate those other victims. And all those homes have since been um, torn down. Including the home that he was living in at the time as well. Yes. So he did eventually end up pleading guilty to seven murders. He was able to avoid the death penalty. He's serving seven life sentences with no possibility of parole. And he is currently residing in the Wabash Correctional Facility. So thank you for watching. Stay yes. spooky. Stay spooky.